YouTube land. What is good? It's your boy Beard, aka Brian, aka Prince, aka Prince with you out there. If you don't know me, I'm a fan of the NFL, even though my team in real life is absolutely atrocious. Uh, it makes me sad to say that Bradley Chubb is out for the year for the torn ACL for my Denver Broncos. Besides, so, I'm going to slip one to you. I'm sorry to hear that. Um, <clears throat> but this is the last game of the season. For the Bears regular season, we've got that Z buyer name for Zorro or whatever. One piece reference, I don't know. <laughs> uh, home field advantage throughout the playoffs, so it's gonna be cold in Chicago. Let's go. What better way than to earn it through the NFC than Chicago? Um, going against our divisional rival, the Minnesota Vikings, in the stadium for the last final game. A lot of the starters are gonna sit. Uh, I know Prince of Mukamara is gonna sit, Kyle Fuller is gonna sit. Uh, Eddie Jackson is going to sit, Ha Ha Davis is going to sit, especially since he got banged up last week. Uh, Hicks is going to sit. Um, Max Knott, though. And the reason why Max Knott is because he's tied for the NFL record of 22 sacks in the season. I need him to break it. Uh, as soon as he breaks it, he's out, but I need him to break it. Trubisky is going to sit, Tariq Cohen is going to sit, the receivers are not going to sit, and the tight end is not going to sit. But everybody else is going to sit too much. And not the whole line or D line, too. But. Majority of the starters, more or less all the 7 or 7 positions, if you will, I guess. Well, further ado, let's get into this match so we can get these sacks so everybody can be happy. Yeah. Take a sip for the working man. Let's get it. I didn't have a drink for the last two games that I've already live streamed, so that's why I'm kind of double and triple sipping. I wish it was showing his sacks, though. Like, 64 tackles is cool, but interception, two forced fumbles, but show them sacks. And he got a safety last week, too, so I don't know if that counts on the record. Oh, Eddie Jackson could have had 90, 100 tackles for his season. Welcome in, everybody. It's the coach. This is Madden 20. Okay, I, I might play Eddie Jackson for the first half. I kind of want him to get 100 tackles. a very warm day outside by Minnesota standards, but then again, it is still summer. Either way, the AC is working just fine at U.S. Bank Stadium in the Twin Cities. The scene a short time ago, this crowd decked out in purple, and they were in full roar. Is that an AFC team? I'm thinking of the Colts. Maybe just the Colts. Some Texans, I guess. Alright. Anyone else? So I think the teams are in the stadium. So I want to be an AFC team for my rebuild, but I might not. They put it together in every phase. Good offense, good defense, and some key plays on special teams. Let's see if they can get that second win in a row. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Bears, they've certainly found their groove of late. Winners of five in a row. And I think the sky's the limit for this team. They're playing the best football that they've played in a long time. Okay, Eddie Jackson. I'm sorry. Just the first half, though. Just that first half for Eddie Jackson and Khalil uh, Mack. But after that, they're coming. They're coming out. He has 97 tackles, guys. I want him to get 100. Should be able to get 100. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Vikings heading out, and it's Kirk Cousins at the helm in his second season in purple and white. Eighth year overall. 30 touchdown passes for him a season ago. That's a career high as he aims to get the Vikings back into the postseason. I'm going to sign it. I'm like, what is my assignment here? First down, here's Cousins. And in 
incomplete to open things up. He was looking for Adam. I just realized I have all backup corners in. I shouldn't be playing, man. Oh, you gotta make that tackle, son. Thielen and Diggs might eat. I'm gonna be honest with you. We might lose this game. <clears throat> As long as Matt gets his sack and uh, Jackson gets his hundred tackles, I don't care what happens in this game. Ooh. Ooh, he got it! He got it! He threw that. He said, uh, get off. He got it. Start right back to the backfield for him. Yeah, it really didn't give anybody a chance to get up there and stop him. No, I mean, that's really, really difficult. Sorry to do this during the live stream and all that stuff. So, if I was editing, obviously, I wouldn't do it. But, this is I'm not. It's a live stream franchise. God, take a picture of this career. You know what I'm saying? The, this career breaking NFL sack. I like so like intimate. <laughs> okay, now that we got that out the way, Mac, get your butt on the bench. Just to make sure Mac don't get back in the game tonight. Kind of start, I need you to ready for the divisional round. Chase Daniels coming out. One attempt for one yard. Six foot, two hundred and twenty-five pound quarterback, former Missouri Tiger Chase Daniel. And his I don't even remember what that one yard or one play was. <laughs> That's what's funny about that. But they won, and so the bottom line for him is. Oh, I feel like you're going to jump. Manage the game effectively. Let him to victory. He's doing all the right things. Jump. They run on first down as they get about three. I thought he would, but I guess not. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Well, Chase, let's get you over a one yard passing. So, yep. We often overuse the term heart and soul when we talk about a player being just that for his team, but not in the case of Kyle Long in Chicago. He's shown his ability to be a pro bowl guard, huh. a pro bowl tackle, but it's his passion for the game, his passion for his teammates, the huh. sense of tone for the entire team. They head to the line. Facing a third and seven, following the incompletion on second down. Will be left side of him. He's got him in. That's Montgomery. A loss huh. of a yard, and it brings up fourth. That bet was well covered. Just tried to check it down. Unfortunately, not So my quarterback trashed a little bit. O'Donnell, he's on the punt as he gets this one away. And a great job here. This is going to turn out to be a beauty. This is Mark Dennis. That was a great punt. Three yard line. So my QB a little trash. He a wee bit trash, but it's okay. Somehow Mac was in there. I'm not complaining. Definitely took dude out. He's still in there. I don't like. That uh, makes me nervous. How did he get? Come on, edge rushers. I realize my DBs are trash. Ah, uh, Aaron, you can't be getting hurt like that, big fella. Now Mac got to play. The goal is for Mac not to play today. Mm. 
Y'all have to show me on this team that we have some depth. That the draft mattered. That the preseason mattered. God forbid, but say the playoff game, people get hurt. What we finna do, team? Thank God we gotta buy. Thank God we gotta buy. Thank God we gotta buy. Technically, too, if we make it to the Super Bowl. Oh, shit. I don't know who 26 was, but that was a hit hit. Eddie Jackson to get him more involved. Especially they're going to run the ball like they did. If we're going up three as a defense with like not our starting amazing cornerbacks against these great receivers, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with threes. No touchdowns, threes. One of these days, I'm going to break one. Is there, sorry, sorry, sorry. Is there a controls thing? It's like the ball's R1, okay. I just didn't know how to protect the ball, to be honest. I thought it was R1, but I wasn't too sure. Oh my, Davis actually making plays? Yeah, I'm Davis slow. Okay, Davis. Actually, look like he has some speed right there, bro. I love that. Love it. I should have just kept running. Aggressive catch was not the move. Come on, Chase. You're the starter now for God knows how long this season in real life. Show it here. Hey, I couldn't even juke if I wanted to. Yeah, let's go Washington. Beat up Dallas real quick for me. Oh my. You know what scares me is I think my legit offensive line is starting. So are we really just trash offensive line? Hey, let's go! Let's go. Figure out how are we going to slow down this running game because of that particular play? They had no answer. A drive that time of six plays, and it was David Montgomery's touchdown run that polished it all off. This is fielded at the goal line. Awesome. They used to take it out. I guess he got what he done. Oh, y'all don't run another play? Okay. Guess you have to. Hey, 
There you go. Good tackle, Jackson. After one, seven, three, I'm going to let Mac play the half. Guy, I don't really have a choice to with Lynch going down and being out for the rest of the game. I was there too. I hate myself. Man, my corners need help. <laughs> they need help, Jesus. Now Cousins here on the bootleg. Smith catches left side. No That's a cleanest block. Second and ten. Had the completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line, so it's second and ten. Off the play fake. Cousins. Feel it. You guys wouldn't do this if I had my corners in. Dirt bags. I guess that's why I get for resting people. Well, I increased the injury too. That was, that was my bad. That was my bad team. Concentration level may not have been there. I agree with you on that one because those types of plays, when they result like that, they're almost like big bolts of lightning, aren't they? Whoosh, and off he goes. Extra point up and good by Bailey. And the lead is now 10 to 7. Five plays there on that drive. And it's a mere That's my bad. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And nice work on the return. That was a really good return. Third drive, just past the 30-yard line. Come on, Chase. You started off a little shaky. Now we're throwing dots. Let's, let's, let's keep the dot and the system going. My door is open. I just really suck. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go up and look at the tab and see what you did on the last drive. When you score a point, it's a whole lot better view. I don't like the fact that my door was open. Wow, I was surprised he didn't make a play! I feel like... I knew he was going to make the bad read. I did that. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Let's take a shot. Why not? Sure, the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Now, Daniel. And his throw is going to be incomplete. All right, that one fell incomplete there, but the best quarterbacks, they'll miss up 40% of their throws somewhere in that neighborhood, similar to a great hitter in baseball who's going to fail seven out of ten times and still have a great year. In this case, you want perfection. Harrison Smith and having a hit, like, his X Factor scares me. That thing scares me so much. Oh, I'm sorry. I put my laptop on the chart there. Very cool. And he only manages a couple here down to about the 38 yard line. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for defense because if you're excited about hitting him in the first half, maybe not so much in the second half as some of these shorter games turn into bigger runs later. They run, Montgomery. They follow up the gain of two with a gain of one that time. Well, they had that one snipped out. Excellent. So down, yeah, yeah, yeah. Up for a short game. What makes a good run blitz? A good run blitz. The ability to stay on task. To good throw. Go to the gap you're supposed to cover and not be deterred by anything else. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings 20 yard line. Yeah. Yeah. From the red zone now, Daniel. If the other safety didn't come over, I would have had it. Would have had it. The other safety didn't come down. 
to get a ball in there. Damn, when that field shrinks with those safeties, it's almost like there's a couple extra defenders out. And he is... Oh, Chase Daniels with his first touchdown of the year. Trey Burton, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Bears have once again taken the lead. There we go. Now I'm back sitting. Dimensional tight ends who just put their hand in the ground and block people. Well, if you're that guy now, you're probably a fullback in an eye formation offense. These tight ends nowadays can do everything: block, run, and catch. Beautiful connection for a touchdown. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Here's Stephon Diggs as he and the rest of the offense get ready to go again. Unless he has a Julio Jones-type 300-yard <laughs> game in him that Julio did against the Panthers in 2016, probably not going to reach 1,000, but still pretty good year. I think you're right. It's a pretty good year for him, but let's face it. Every receiver's dream is to have a game like Julio Jones had against the Carolina Panthers. Let's go. Still getting sacks, and Mac is out. My boy Floyd. Oh, dogs. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. Running from the gun, it's Abdullah. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. We hitting out here? Well, we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Not much going on this drive. Looks like they're going to have to punt it away, CD. And right now, I know a lot of their fans are screaming for the OC to change things up, get away from what he's been calling. Sometimes you just need better execution of the plays that have been called. Take it in at the 22. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards. Well struck. And the Bears take over. 13 games going on here in this final Sunday of 2019, the final Sunday of the regular season. Three more games still to come following us. Raiders, Broncos, Cards, Rams, and Niners. Seahawks. Oh, go, go, go. We'll know the 12 teams who will continue on into the playoffs starting next Saturday here on EA Sports. That one good for 33 and a first. Even from up here in the booth, the play-by-play -play guy could tell that there was some pretty good blocking on the right side of the line. Well, you have good eyes, and it's almost like a ballet when it's executed that well. Everyone in the right spot, everyone in sync, everyone hitting the perfect notes. A little more percussion and a lot more yeah. bass, I would think, than you get to normal ballet. But at the same time, that was mm -hmm. well executed. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Daniel looks to throw. Throw left side taken in by Miller. And only able to get two here. Stopped at the third. Damn. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. Daniel on third down. He's going to fire it into heavy traffic. And it's intercepted. Wow. Picked off by Harrison Smith. And he'll go down inside the 15 at his own 13 yard line. They yeah, asked to throw higher. I wonder. Boy, Brandon, that's what I'd call an ill-advised pass right there on third down. I mean, you just need a yard or two to keep the drive going. Instead, he's trying to hit a home run. You've got to really like your chances if you're going to take a shot like that. The Vikings going to signal for their first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with exactly a minute to go before halftime. Second and 12 after the first down pass play went backwards for two yards. You know, I'm going to be more aggressive. If I lose, I lose. I just want to see what this team can do. That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. The Vikings on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third down and 12. On third down, they run with Madison. And he'll only get this to the 14 as he'll come up well Why short of the first down. Now the Bears are going to call the first of their timeouts. As they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. 
Yeah, he's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. It's taken to the 26. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. A good return there, 17 yards. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And following the interception, just any interception. So you just have to hold it. Okay. No wonder why I was never getting motions. Just throw that out the window. I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Just don't want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. Going again on second down, but this time Dang. it's incomplete. Man, it looked like he had his hands on it for a moment, but let's face it, that was going to be a tough catch all the way because of the presence of the defense right there as he was trying to haul it in. Yeah, nice job to force the incompletion. Throwing on third down, Daniel. This one out left to the tight end, Burton. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. Oh, I don't want to do this. He's going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. And look at this. I don't think he's going to pass it. Yeah, that play, ah, that's unfortunate. You can't call two timeouts in a row anymore. That threw me off. play there to fake it. You're either the hero or the goat. Here they're going to be the goat. Unfortunate, too, because you know they thought they had something there. They don't call it just a call. They don't just say, oh, what the heck, let's go ahead and fake it here. They feel like they've got something on. They've got the defense in the right spot. Just unsuccessful in that opportunity. I think we got the ball first. Now a timeout signal for, and they'll get it. So them getting a field goal would really, really hurt. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Cousins, and he'll find Fielding on the right side. And they'll burn the timeout with five seconds left. A chance to try to add three points before heading to the locker room. I should have bought that ball. What can you do? And Bailey able to knock it through. And the lead is down to one now at 14-13. So, yes, they'll still be down going into intermission, but the deficit is now made even smaller, very manageable. Yeah, and if nothing haywire happens here in his last couple of precious seconds, they will go into the locker room with a nice bounce in their step, having gotten a little bit closer on this. An abbreviated halftime show as we get rolling. Oh, we get the ball. Nice. For some reason, I thought they got the ball. The final two quarters of the NFL regular season are upon us as the second half of Week 17 is underway. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And all that work, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he's simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. They have the lead, now they'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects. Tendency God damn! Players, as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half, and they've had the ability to see what you've done. They're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you are looking for some separation in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt. <laughs> show them one thing, hit them with something else. Chasing the his accuracy. Right? In the secondary for the Vikings here on third down. Shotgun snap for Daniel. Finding Gabriel complete. And now the ball's out, fumbled near midfield, and the Vikings pick up the football. <laughs> shot right near midfield at the 49-yard line. Cousins now after the fumble recovery. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. And the play goes for 19 yards, gives him a new set of downs. Job. He only has one tackle? Okay, Jackson might stay in the game. Again, it's a 
And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, that'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. Oh. This is the target incomplete. They don't get the hook up there, but you really have to marvel at how precise he's been throwing the football these last couple weeks. Oh, that's a perfect word for it, precise, because if you're at 70% or better two weeks in a row, you have a job as long as you want. I almost blocked it, man. That took a wide angle. That took a, like, a, well, I guess sharp angle. If I would have went at the kicker, I think I would have had it. This will be taken in at the one. That's what feels bad. Stop us running game again. Offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And last time they coughed it up, led to a field goal. They're fortunate that it only led to a field goal, but still, they're not happy about it. Could you sense the relief though when they only gave up the field goal and they were able to trot back out on the field to start this drive? We need this by more than anyone. They're getting banged up these last few weeks. Can't say we are running the ball on these boys. Back to back good plays. Have them on the move on first down. On the ground, it's Montgomery. And he'll be taken down at the 44. Not David. Now we're going to get a stoppage. It appears to be an injured bear on the field. And in week 17, let's hope this won't affect him for the playoffs. We'll step aside. From the 44. Daniel, he's got Burton here. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings' 34-yard line. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Back to throw, Daniel. This is Gabriel out on the left side. Seven yards. Y'all going to come down for these flats eventually. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them. Especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. 11 yards there, first down. Daniel now, five straight completions here in this second half, first and 10. And he's wrapped up, taken down, back at the 25. Everson Griffin. It'll go as a loss. Yeah, they're quick. As he gets in there to drop him. Gotta imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. Everson Griffin. Oh man, it's got back back. His fifth sack of the season. Oh man, it's got back to back. You gotta let him go. You gotta let him go. Just these Drake Rogers on us. Really? Second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Take it in by Patterson. But a heck of a play there on third down, but amazingly, they're still short for fourth. Well, I think everything was impressive about that one, except they didn't get a first down. But I like their field position now after that play. Yeah, now you got a pretty makeable field goal opportunity. So they put together a good little drive there, but ultimately stalling out in the red zone. Yeah, I know a lot of people look at it as a little bit of a negative. They didn't get six points out of it, right? Didn't get the touchdown. But that's actually okay. They got three points. It will give the defense a little bit of rest. Let them settle down over there. So all in all to me, that's a good drive. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, John. I never met a defensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll That's take terrible. it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive the end of the kick, <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. Now a nice throw here, right side. He hauls it in. That's all I can do about that. Dylan just cooked him. 
You can just kind of sense the momentum turning here. It's first and ten. Here's Madison running on first down. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. The last run got six. Now second. Is that one of his solo tackles, or is it assist tackles? That's ta it gotta be assist tackles. That's what I think they're gonna catch. Good bat. Screen, good job, screen. Definitely giving it. You guessed it. We go run it again. Maybe I should wait. This is all a little more time. This one's still anybody's ball game. It's a one point difference here as we begin the fourth quarter of play. For the shotgun on third, Daniel. I looked at Incomplete, nearly the pick they yeah. needed. They want a loved one there, but at least it does get them to fourth down. Well, the fans should be applauding this defense right now. It's an excellent job. They force a three and out, and they should be able to set up their guys a great field position, probably near midfield or better. So from their own end zone here, this kicks away. Woo! So possession goes I love you, Diggs, but I, I, I wouldn't advise you to do that again. That was, that was a smart as well. The Vikings offense making their way back out. Let's give you a look at the playoff picture coming into the weekend. I hate that drink bottle. It's all come down to this, hasn't it? Final week of the regular season. Is this year's playoffs play on anything like pressure from his right? And he goes down hard, flat on his back. Khalil Mack in there yet again. What else is new? He continues to rewrite the record book in single think... season sacks. Mack just wants the sacks. All 16 games, but only led the Vikes to just one fourth quarter comeback. He's trying to do here. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. There's a reason we're 20 second <laughs> exactly. That's, that's terrible for how good we are. Come up with something here on third down. Cousins. And this is caught. I think he got that with one hand. And he is going to lose Dang. yardage here. Now whistles and a timeout. Looks like we've got a Viking slow to get up. And this is certainly not what you want to see in the final week of the year. We'll be back. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. Damn. He'll field this at the five. A good return there. 18 yards. 18 yards. And possession will switch. Hands first and ten. Some good games going on in the early window. This might be the best of the bunch. They'll go to Montgomery to try to wind some clock. Why is he running? Is he hurt? McKenzie Alexander. He had to be hurt. Tackle. I don't know why he was running like that. There on first down and keeps him in a running situation, probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front. Why is nice hole for him? Ends up picking up nice yardage. No one told you to spin, bro. Keep the clock rolling. They are in charge of this scenario right now. Here's Daniel connecting with Burton here over the middle. That first. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a footer so short. This is dumb. Oh, why am I doing this? I don't know. I want to do this. I want to. That was a bad throw. That was stupid. Why did I do that? That was dumb. 
talk about not playing it safe. Why were they going for it there, Charles? It's got to be a full evaluation of their team. Do they trust their defense in this situation? Maybe they think they've given all they can in this game. I mean, me even trusting my defense, that still was a stupid, ill-advised throw. I don't know why I did that. Sack of the season. Yeah. Okay, you know my bias is about to come out here. A lot of people think that the offense is just moving in the wrong direction. I saw him blitz right Jackson again. Because the defense is pushing him back. Former defensive guy. Now it's a quarterback third long. You really got to rally. The Woo! That boy fast! That boy fast! Third and long defense with no fear. They brought the pressure. That boy kind of... He got some speed, Eddie Jackson. Oh my goodness. Excuse me. Trey Burton and look at the numbers they have gotten him more involved I guess the question now Charles defensively how do you make him less involved that's always a key question isn't it sometimes other guys are starting to play really well and you shift your attention to them you gotta make sure you got full focus on him because he's so good that if you don't he finds a way to make I don't know why he was in there anyway running like that if he was hurt so now watch we're um, probably missing for the playoffs or something stupid like that whatever We've seen him break off a big run already in this game, and for a second, that would look like it might be another. Yeah, I think that any defense would say, look, we can't let him get to the second level because sometimes he'll break off the big run on his own, but oftentimes you get additional blocking in the second level, which gets you oh. deeper into the second area. I think it's the same injury that uh, Tariq had, so I don't think we would get Davis, Dave Montgomery to Super Bowl. We make it. Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things, but the defensive guys, they just nice. the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blows. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. And it is true. You can draft the fastest. You can draft the most athletic guys. But if they don't know the art of positioning, sometimes it's all for naught. In this case... I thought it, it man. Completion. Yeah, had his hands on it for a second. Would have been a tough catch, though. Falls incomplete. Cousins and the Vikings with a first and ten at their own 20-yard line. They go play action. Cousins. Pressure, and he's taken down. A bear sack. Danny Trevathan in there to record another sack, and that is now six on the afternoon for this defensive unit. Coming up now on a second and 15 following that sack. On the delay, this is Abdullah. And nothing doing here as this time the run maybe gets him back to the line of scrimmage, but that's it. Possibly I don't know if we're covering like we're supposed to, but hey. As long as that heat getting there like it's supposed to, we'll be all right. Yeah, that heat getting there. Can't do nothing about that heat. Can't do nothing about that heat, baby. Now look. I'm going to keep it as basic as I possibly can. We're just going to run the ball. I'm going to take all your timeouts in the two-minute morning. And then we're just going to play straight-up defense. Now, if we score or y'all don't get the ball back, I am okay with both those scenarios as well. But I'm getting all these timeouts, bro. I need them. I need them. I think it's leverage. The big guys up front. You know the motivational speech on the sideline is guys get the opportunity. Protect the passer. Okay, here you go out of bounds. And let's go ahead and get these guys. Low man wins. Let's go do it. Mike Davis, a hundred yard rusher? Hundred yard rusher? Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Fourth quarter, two minutes on the clock in a tight one point game. So the Bears with the football here as we welcome you back. I might kick a field goal just to be safe. Come up with offensively after having time to talk. Honey, our rusher? Had a bit of a lane there, took advantage of it. Give him seven there on the first down carry. And now right out of the two minute break. We'll get a I just want to read option just, <laughs> just to be cheeky. Just to be cheeky and sneaky, baby. Oh, 
I'm gonna run the same play. We're gonna have another stoppage of play as they call the timeout on defense with 153 left. The Bears on third. Because he's isolated on the island by itself. But not much success, converting only three times. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. And he's gonna run into a What are the odds of running into the backer? You know what I mean? So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. He made his first. This from 47 yards out. The kick by Pinheiro is good. And they add on and get a little bit of a cushion. It's 20 to 16 now. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, they're a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now because they feel a whole lot better about their position. Uh, the the I mean, at least we know that they can't just win it with a field goal. They have to score. The Vikings now to start their next drive. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how I didn't even see Thielen. Maybe that's because the pass came so quick. I'm hoping that that's because the pass came so quick, because Thielen was naked. Oh, hell no. Actually, that was, that was a crappy angle by my part. Crappy, crappy angle. He's back to throw. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. We need cheating. Mac ain't supposed to be playing. Mac put himself in the game. And this is certainly not what you want to see in the final week of the year. We'll be back. Back to throw. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Why is that not? They'll get to the line here, but remember it's all. That's unfair. For the backup quarterback, a call it luck or skill, whatever the case is, they're feeling good about just keeping the football there. Yeah, the biggest thing that they're calling it now, our ball. <laughs> they don't care if it was luck or skill, but the panic that jumps up in your chest. Okay. Pressure there as it's intercepted. Okay. Get a picky D, man. Get a picky D, backup. Let them know you ain't a backup. Oh no! Well, oh no! Remaining defensively, so this one should just be one kneel and then handshakes. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. I ain't really want to win, but the fact that I can win with my backups is a statement. A statement 14 and 2 on the year. I take it. I'm happy going into the bye week. We chilling. Let's go. Everyone wants to shut out for the entire game, but when you throw one in the fourth quarter, that tells everyone that you're getting stronger and dominance is starting to take over. Right? The way that you close, the way that you finish, that gets preached to you from the time you're playing little league football all the way up through. And they closed them out with a big time performance down the stretch. So for the Bears, a final win here means they'll finish at 14 and 2. And now they'll have the week off as they get set to go after a Super Bowl title. Meanwhile, mm -hmm. for the Vikings, they wanted desperately to finish at 500, but that won't happen as it'll be a 7 and 9 season in the end. And they can take solace in the fact that this team never quit all the way to the end. So for our entire crew, alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.
Let's look at the team stats. Let's dominate them in every facet. Listen with our backup suit. This was crazy. Not an ideal game, but he plays solid. The running game was vicious this game. Oh my goodness. Yeah, just enough. Yeah, you got three. That's crazy.